a lot of kids at UIC go get that, that PhD. For me, I just didn't have the energy to take out a loan and try and do that. I'd rather pursue something that I see fits into our community and our socioeconomic center here in the city, and that's growing sustainable food. We are a for-profit company, and we're looking to uh, produce, test, and create the technology that's going to make indoor aquaponic farming efficient. We allow the plants to take up the converted nitrogen waste from our fish, and then once that nitrogen waste is out of the water, you know, it's a cleaner water, so we can just keep recirculating the water in our system. I started the company my, my last semester of school, of undergrad at UIC. What I'm looking to achieve with our project here in aquaponics is a new understanding of food, a true understanding of food, and that is, you know, what our food is. What are you eating? It's a more primitive version of a, of a living wall in that, you know, we just use the lumber to create the frame and the support, but it's kind of cool. It's, it's on wheels. I really enjoy putting this thing together. And it's a really cool glimpse into the future because in my opinion, there's no reason why we shouldn't have plants in as many places as we can, whether just for aesthetics, to look nice, or to consume for good food. I think aquaponics would help people change 10% of their diet because we're providing consistent food year round that is of consistent quality. But just because we can only grow leafy crops in our aquaponic system, this deep water flow system, doesn't inhibit people from changing their diet at least 10% because you should at least make the attempt to try and buy your local farmed produce. Really educating yourself and just knowing what food you're putting in your body is the best way to get involved. I'm looking to speak to the people that want to know what's going into their body, that understand that the fuel you put into yourself dictates the energy that will come out of you and how you feel. All those things are balanced by good food. So if folks start getting a little bit more concerned in masses about what they're eating, they're going to want to eat better food and have a higher demand for better food.